Candida, Alstonia scolaris, L. Apocinaceae, other names of the species. Descriptions. Alstonia scolaris is a medium to large tree, to about 40 m high with a somewhat tessellated corky gray to gray-white bark. The boles of larger trees are strongly fluted to 10 m. The outer blaze is cream to yellowish in color with abundant, milky latex that flows rapidly when cut. Leaves in whorls of 4 to 8 in the upper axils, leaf stalks 1 to 1.5 cm long, the lamina obovate to elliptical or elliptical lanceolate, glabrous or sparsely hairy, tapering towards the base, November 5, 23x 4 to 7.5 cm. Upper surface is dark green, the lower green-white, with 25 to 40 pairs of lateral veins on each side of the midrib and 2 to 6 mm apart. The tip of the leaf is rounded or shortly pointed, tapering towards the base. Flowers and Fruits Distribution This species occurs in India, Nepal, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Bhutan, Pakistan, Myanmar, Thailand, Cambodia, China, Laos, Vietnam, Malaysia, New Guinea, Philippines, Indonesia, Vietnam and Australia with an altitudinal range of 200 to 1000 MASL, eFlorist 2020. Uses. This species is the principal source of pulai timber which is used for manufacture of household items and high-quality paper, Soeria negra and lemons 1993. Medicinally it is used for many and varied purposes, both as a tonic and by applying the latex to the affected parts, Van Valkenburg and Bunya Prafetsera, 2002. The tree is also sometimes used as an ornamental. The bark and leaves are used to treat headache, influenza, bronchitis, and pneumonia. In China, this wood is used for making coffins, eFlorist 2020. Aborigines from northern Queensland use the bark for treatment of abdominal pains, dysentery and fevers and the latex for neuralgia and toothache. The bark and latex contain many alkaloids that are the active constituents, Forster 2020. Conservation Actions This has been recorded from 54 ex situ collection sites throughout the world, BGCI Plant Search 2020. This species is conserved in botanical gardens and conservation areas in South and Southeast Asia. It occurs in more than four protected areas, including Parsa National Park of Nepal, Sharabadi Valley Wildlife Sanctuary, New Amarambalam Wildlife Sanctuary of India, Namari National Park and Forest Reserve of Bhutan, Kaoya National Park of Thailand.